Hi students, we are looking at our lima bean growth cycle experiment that um, Evelyn and I started five days ago. So five days ago, what did we do? We put in these. What are they? Lima beans. Lima and, beans. And we put them in the water and soil. Um, we did these, one in water, are, if you remember, hold on F, we did one in a jar with water, and then we did one jar with soil, and we watered them, and we gave them a little bit of sun, but we haven't given them probably as much sun as we should, and then we made a hypothesis, what was our hypothesis, what was our guess about what would happen, um, what did we think would happen, do you remember? If they would grow or not. Okay, but which? what was our hypothesis? Do you need to read it? Okay, so look back at what you wrote. This is it's right here. The. La, lima. Lima. Beans. Beans. Grow. And. Soil. Soil will will grow, grow fast. fast. Okay, so our hypothesis was that the lima beans growing in the soil would grow the fastest. Why did you think that? Well, well, I just thought it because they come forward because they always have to be in the soil. Well, but these ones are growing and they're in water. Mostly they're both growing though. Okay, they're both <laughs> growing. So but this one let me show most. you guys. So let's see. So the water one. They got like all soil. You can't them. see them as well. Gross. On our camera. That thing is so stinky, you guys. Okay. Got so, stinky. so Evelyn's telling you. Okay, so that one you can kind of see. Yeah. That um, one you can kind of see is growing. And then there's one that is kind of growing. Okay, so if you look in there. This one has some mold growing around it. That's gross. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this one is kind of growing it's like a in between. This one right here is growing in between the paper towel. Yeah. And, the, and, like, um, and um, the, it's lima bean. So, and then down inside of this I thing. Can about this? Yeah. And then the water got so stinky today and we just smelled it before I think it's gotten we did stinky this. over a few days yeah we just smelled it before we did this you guys want to see Evelyn smell it smell it up oh, okay oh it smells like stinky popcorn it smells really bad I know, it's it smells like, like rotten it smells like, so it smells like stinky feet stinky popcorn do you know why marshmallow it, do you know why it stinks because do you remember what I said? No. Why does the water in here stink? What don't we have? Because it's in glass. Well, it's in glass. I guess some glass has this. We don't have any drainage. So there's oh, yeah. there's nowhere for this water to go. So this water is just sitting in here. And because we don't have it in a really warm place and where, the, like sh sh where the water is absorbing, um, into, um, absorbing, yeah. um, <laughs> Where the water is evaporating. So because the water isn't evaporating, it's not super warm. Um, it's just kind of sitting here and it's getting really stinky. Hold on. So this one, our soil one, doesn't stink. it doesn't stink. Wait, really? What, sort of why do you think this one doesn't stink, Ev? Well, because it's dirt. And dirt, I mean soil, and soil doesn't stink. Mm, sometimes it could. It can get kind of rotten with Well, plants. if it was like, if it was in for 100 years. That well, so the, the soil in this one is absorbing the water. Yeah. It's absorbing the water, and so it could get stinky eventually, especially with as much water as like it's put in here. Like if we kept it in for like But it's not getting stinky days. yet. So... And then look at that one. Look like at so these lima beans, and like, guys. I, I was totally right that they were going to grow faster. Check out. Wait, are we going to let them Check grow? out our lima beans. These ones are growing. I and like the roots. that long one that looks like a pea. 
<laughs> uh, this one, the root actually looks like it's gone all the way down to here. If you can see that little white line. And it looks like a pea. Big, long, thick root. So looks like a pea or a nine. What we've noticed is that in five days, the lima beans growing in the soil mm -hmm. have grown a lot better than the in lima the greens growing in the water. I and was right. And the paper towel. I was right. So, yeah, that's basically all we have for you guys today. Um, Evelyn is finishing filling out her science notebook. So, right now, she's drawing two pictures. I'll show you what's in our science notebook. So, we did a page two, lima bean growth. And this is five days since we planted and we have a picture of the jar with the water and then the jar with the soil. And I drew the lima beans and what they look like. And then we're recording our observations because that's what scientists do. They do it, set up an experiment, and then they watch what happens. And they record their observations. They take a lot of very detailed notes. Keep drawing. So, um... Yeah, we could go we back and we could yeah. label these. We could label this lima bean, yeah. and then we could label that it has a little sprout on it. Um, our observations is our observation, the first observation we're recording today is that the jar with soil has lima beans that are growing faster. All right, so Evelyn is going to finish copying my notes. And then we're going to go back and we're going to label the parts of our picture and make sure that on our picture we label it to show that there's a sprout growing out of each one of those lima beans. Remember that, Evelyn, that growth cycle? There, that um, The first thing that we saw in the growth cycle is that there's a sprout that comes from the lima bean. Okay. So science, my science kids, I hope that you enjoy this. I know you've probably done this experiment before. Or someone before else can watch this too. In kinder or first grade. But you can always set this up at home um, and ask, ask mom or dad or aunt and uncle or whoever you're living with right now. Or um, someone if they have any beans of any kind that you could try to sprout on your own. And if you don't have soil, just do it in water with a paper towel and see how it goes. You can even use a clear plastic cup. That works or just you, as well as glass. And if you have dirt. a plastic cup, you could puncture a little hole in the bottom of it with some scissors like we like we did in our science class with our, um, our water unit that we did. And um, then you would have drainage. Just make sure you set it on a plate so that it drains into the plate. Evelyn has her hand up. What would you like to say? Are you adding or are you asking a question? I'm asking a question. Okay. Um, or other people could watch this video other than your class, right? Yes, other people can watch the video too. Not yeah. just our science kids, but we do want to make sure that we're like showing other, our science kids Other different stuff. people can watch it that we don't know. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, bye. All right, bye, guys. We'll Evelyn, see you later. Evelyn and Jamie. So we will do another video in a few days and give you guys an update about how our experiment is going. All right. <laughs>